I don't even know where to start. Uh, this this is a story about a young lady driving to her destination. It's a story about death. In Greek mythology, there's a, a character named Charon. Charon is described as having fiery eyes. In other contexts, he's described as having bluish gray eyes with bluish gray skin. And that seems like a more accurate description to me because death isn't this like fiery hell. At least it shouldn't be. It's more of a somber, sad, and sometimes empty feeling, you know? That's what death can leave us with. The entire first part of the film is one static shot. And all we see is the main character, she's driving. The last half of the film goes in a direction that hopefully nobody will be expecting. You've probably seen uh, a million of these already. Uh, I know I've seen a lot of my friends um, posting crowdfunding stuff on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I don't like them, but I, I kind of get it now. It occurred to me that, that this is a story that, that doesn't, it doesn't belong to me. I'd like to tell it, um, but it, it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to us, a story that involves all of us. I would like all of us to be involved. For the past two years, I've been dealing with a lot of death uh, around around me. I've lost my grandma, two uncles, friends in my neighborhood, an aunt. It's been kind of crazy. And, and people don't talk about that. People figure, you know, it happens to everyone, so we don't need to talk about it. I, I kind of think that it's, it's the opposite. It does happen to everyone. So if we don't talk about it, then nobody really knows how to deal with it. And you can be 100% certain that it will happen around and to you eventually when a death happens that's the absolute worst thing that could possibly happen in your life to the people around you to the people you love it's it's as certain as the sun coming up every morning and if, if you're not depressed by the sunrise then why would you let death destroy you and you're gonna be sad you're gonna be heartbroken you're gonna be in pain it's gonna hurt a lot that's what the story is about the story came from a lot of pain. The more that I spoke to people about the death that I was experiencing, the more I realized people were going through the same thing. Our lives are, are so parallel to each other, but we don't know because we don't talk to each other. On October 30th, there was a car accident outside my apartment. I, I heard it happen, looked, and it was, you know, just like any other car accident. And I looked closer and it wasn't like any other car accident it was a motorcycle laid out so i ran up and there were there were a lot of images in that moment that i will never get out of my mind for the next week or so i was hallucinating my girlfriend was there she was having nightmares i couldn't grasp the situation i've had friends of mine pass i've had family members pass but this was different i was trying to help somebody in their last moments and and he passed in front of us i wasn't able to help him and Before he passed, his, his eyes turned a bluish gray. And I'll never forget that image. It made me realize how important it is for people to learn how to deal with death. And I, I wanted to take this past two years of filling all this stuff and not knowing what to fucking do with it and turn it into something that is honest and real and that everybody and anybody can relate to and use.